trying to get my anchor out or trying to get my anchor down. That's a good fish right there. Let's see what we got. All right, y'all, there's the first fish of the day. I was right in the middle of setting my anchor down. That's a good fish, though. That's a good start. He did not want to open his mouth and let me get this fish grips in there. Well, he's still got a lot of fight in him. You know, I had him pretty good in my hand, but, you know, he does that, and I'm going to end up dropping him in the water, which is where he's going anyway, but... I like to get a picture with him first. It's feisty. So that's going to be about 24 inches to start off the day. That's a good fish. He's skinny, you know, I mean, for as long as he is, he doesn't have a big belly on him, so we'll let him go back down there and feed up. All right, well, hey there, everybody. This is Jason with Lone Star Catfish. Um, I have finally gotten a a nice calm day, good temperatures, um, beautiful clear sky, and good pressures um, here where I can actually come out and spend multiple hours out here instead of these quick trips that I've been making. It's just before 11 now, so I got baits in the water right around 10.30, um, and that was my first fish. Um, so I'm here at a very typical spot for me. I was actually gonna go down a little bit further today, but I just didn't like the way the wind was coming around that point. Um, so I went ahead and just settled into my normal hole here. Um, I have the anchor down right now, but I may paddle around because it's so calm. Um, I could actually paddle and drift a little bit and then put the anchor down and then pull it up and drift. Um, but for right now, I'm sitting in nine foot of water. I've got all these rods. At least right now, I just dropped them down to my standard six and a half, seven foot. And that's what I caught that, uh, the, the fish, uh, that I just put in the boat on. Um, but I may, as I've done in some of my other videos, I may go ahead and drop some of these down to the bottom and reel them up um, and see if they're not laying on the bottom. But with that pressure fairly, you know, it's, it's about average, and with it falling a little bit, I'm expecting the fish to maybe get up and move. Water temperature is just under 60, 59 and a half. Um, and, you know, the, the, the uh, clarity of the water is pretty typical around here, which means it looks like chocolate milk. So that's it. I, I'm going to enjoy this beautiful day. Um, I'm not skunked, so that's good, and um, we will talk to you here in a bit. Know if that camera's still on. Let's go ahead and test him out. He's about 20 inches. Boy, I just slid down here and went ahead and let it drop up into about four foot. And lo and behold, there were all kinds of signals. I got two really big hits, so I think I'm gonna circle back around and go up there and see if I can't land a few more of these. Just looks like they're just sitting in shallower water. But uh, I better check these other poles because I think they're sitting on the ground. So I'm going to get him back in the water and turn around. Okay, everybody. Well, I am making uh, a little slow drift back towards uh, the house here. Um, it has been sort of a longer version of the trips that I've been having lately, which is um, real quick action. You know, I think I caught two fish in the first 30 minutes. Um, and then... I hooked into one more fish um, in the next two and a half hours, and he came off right at the boat, um, and then nothing. I mean, it is absolutely nothing, uh, and the only thing that I did different was instead of just reeling it all in, putting it up, and heading to, to the house, I just pulled the anchor up, and I just let the wind take me. I had a, have a nice wind today. It's, it's calm, but it's moving, uh, it's, it's moving me back towards where I want to go, so I just let it go. Um, went through those that eight 
seven and a half foot of water, then it started to come up into the six, five, four. So I just cranked up all my lines just to make sure I wasn't snagging bottom and just went ahead and floated across there. And the scope around four feet or so just absolutely lit up. Um, and, and not surprisingly, my back left rod went down. Uh, now, of course, you know, it's four foot of water. I got three and a half foot of line out. Um, so there wasn't really much place for him to go. The fish actually came up and, and, and uh, boiled right here. His, his tail just boiled the water right here next to the kayak, but he didn't hook up. And as soon as I got done looking at that, my front left rod went down and that guy did hook up. Um, so, you know, I, I, it could just simply be that I ran across, a, you know, one or two fish, could have been the same fish and, and that was it. But it could also have been that the fish didn't want to set over there in that eight foot hole uh, that I normally fish and they wanted to be up in the flats and up into a little bit shallower water. Um, and so if nothing else, it tells me I, I, I should be um, prospecting a little bit more instead of just anchoring down in one spot. Um, it's hard to believe that I could sit in four foot of water uh, and catch fish, um, but I did. And in fact, there's a sandy bank um, right next to where I caught that fish. Um, I, could, I, I could just go pull the kayak up right there and just get out and fish from the bank. So those are some things I'm gonna think about next time um, and, and maybe try, because I, I certainly, you know, I love being out here, it's beautiful, but you know, coming out here and setting for three, four hours, catching two fish is, uh, that's tough. I, my mind starts wondering all the things I, I could have accomplished at home. So um, I'm gonna continue this drift back towards the house. As long as my depth stay solid, um, I, I'm just gonna keep going. I'm heading back towards the house I'm um, still within the time frame that I had kind of allotted for myself today. If I catch some more fish and this front left rod, just something's, something's playing with it. It's just, uh, he hasn't hooked himself yet. Uh, if I catch any more fish, I will certainly show them to you. Pretty good fish for four foot of water. He's 23 inches, so he's an inch off at best of the day. So there's 23 inches. That's several fish now on this drift. I'm drifting into some shallow water, so I need to, to get back on it. But okay, I mean it's four foot of water, and I'm my lines are down at three foot, and I'm catching these things. So 23 inch blue cat, good stuff. Look at that little chanakin, look how spotted he is. Alright, well, I'll take that too. I finally got myself out here into close to four feet. And he took that down, so hey, I said I'm I'm working my way back to shore and I'm catching fish along the way, so I'll just keep doing it until I get there. Another tiny channel. Drifted over something really good looking there. If it was a brush pile or what, and that's exactly, exactly when he hit. Oh! Oh! That's not a bad fish right there. Not a bad little blue cat right there. He hit that hard. Okay. Well, this drift home has proved to be fairly successful. Got one big one at the beginning, uh, another big one in the middle. Wouldn't call this big, but it's bigger than some of the little channels I've caught up through here. This is a good fish right here, especially for four foot of water. Okay. Let's put him back. I had another nibble back here.
drift remains successful. That's a dirty, dirty looking blue cat. He's beat up. Something been chasing him. Let's keep going. We're almost back. big fish but they're fish this is about what I normally catch I, this is a bank I fish off of quite a bit and this is usually what I catch through here so it's not really a surprise um, I have hooked into some big ones though so yeah we got a couple you know maybe 500 yards left Let's see what we can come up with it's getting a lot shallower though I'm gonna have to tend to these lines So I rode this drift all the way back. My launch point's right there. And I know there's a little channel right here. I wanted to drift through. So this is probably going to be last fish right here. If I can get the... Hang on, I got all my equipment put up. And I'm coming up. There we go. All right. Last fish of the day. Not too bad. All right. Okay, everybody, so this is really it this time. Uh, the drift back um, ended up being pretty productive. I mean, I didn't catch a bunch of big fish, but I did catch fish. Um, and I didn't have to paddle back. I mean, that's about a mile uh, that I didn't have to paddle, so I'm happy for that. Um, and you know, caught the last fish right here, you know, 10 yards from uh, my launch point, or, or at least my retrieval point. Uh, so now I am gonna call it a night. Thank you. We'll see you guys soon. Oh, baby, too much attention. Not enough attention. But you're gonna 